So any parents out there, if you've ever questioned if you add a degree when you put it under the arm, you for sure do. We just experimented on each other and you do. Look who's outside! <laughs> hey, stop for filming me, Dad! Good afternoon. <clears throat> Actually, it's close to good evening. It's like 5 o'clock in the evening. This little milkman has just been not feeling too good, huh? He did not. We're gonna go for a little walk. He wanted to go outside. He did not want to put a jacket on, so that's why he has a blanket Mommy on. Don't. What's that? Mommy don't. She's right over there. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little walk, just kind of get outdoors, to get some fresh air. Yeah, you heard a puppy? Yeah, she's outside. She's barking, huh? Uh, Caitlin's coming with us so she can ride her her bike. It'll be a little little family exercise outing, so. Oh! Katie, there's your friend out there. Night's coming to an end. Rena and the and the little dude are spending one more night out in the uh, in the in the living room. He seems to be all right this evening. I think it's like a 99.2 or something like that. So it's like barely a fever. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be gone though. I think tomorrow we're gonna. Stay home though. I don't think we're gonna go to church. Just uh, be safe with him. Don't want to spread whatever he has to anybody else. Thanks for your guys, uh, you know, prayers and wishes of good, you know, good health and all that stuff. Um, hopefully, hopefully no one else will get sick from what he got. You know, because he every time that Rena would get a new thing of water, he would always drink it. Hopefully, no one will get sick. I pray to God that nobody, nobody will get sick with what he had. So, hope you guys like our video today. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, all right? And please share it. Share away. We'll see you guys in the morning, all right? Have a good night, everyone. Well, hello, guys. It is Sunday. That is Nani. You're right. And Parker's still sick. He was good all day today. You want to call Nani? She's not home yet. In a couple minutes, okay? Oh, he wants to talk to my mom. <laughs> uh, he did so good until nap time, and then he started running a fever again. And now he still is running a fever. Oh. So, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt you? <laughs> Buddy, are you sick? Yeah, poor baby. Um, hence why there's been, like, no vlogging. I just don't know what to, to do, you guys. I, I'm doing everything everything. I know that it's kind of just like it's a virus So there's not much you can do you just have to let it run its course But it's so hard as a parent when you're in the middle of it all just Exhausted and you want to make them feel better. You hate seeing them feeling so sick and I'm just I'm just I'm so tired and I can only imagine how he feels You know like I feel so bad for him. That's that's what this Sunday has been it's been laying on the couch most of the day he played for half of the day though like he was up playing having a great time he jumped on the trampoline. yeah like he did he had a great day he played next door for a little bit outside and came home started falling asleep and woke up with a low-grade fever and it's just slowly gone up since then um 
I really don't know. He even broke out in hives this afternoon from being outside. Like, so weird. So anyway, you guys, continue to pray for Parker and keep him in your thoughts. I'm checking his temp right now to see what it is. And I do it under the arm, so I know I have to add a degree. Uh, which, I mean, I don't know. On one hand, like, I, I get that. But on the other, I don't think that that's necessarily accurate because there have been plenty of times in the last few days where he hasn't been running a fever and it has read at like 98 point whatever. So I feel like it's been accurate. So I don't necessarily know if I'm supposed to add a degree. I don't know. I know it's, I feel like it's, uh, it's one of those things where some people say you do and others say you don't. So I don't know. If I'm reading it just as it says right now, it's 99.3. If I add a degree, then it's 100.3. But if I add a degree, then that means he's never once in the last four and a half days not had a fever. So I would feel like it would read like 97 point something if it was under his arm and it wasn't normal. What do you think? How about I do it on Tom under his arm and that will tell us if it's normal. If his reads 98 point something, then that means it, it's accurate under the arm. If not, then that means I do need to add a degree. So let's see, 99.7. What do you think, bud? Oh, that's where it's at. Okay, you definitely add a degree when you do it under the arm, which means Parker technically has not been fever free at all in the last four or five days. It's been low grade a lot of times, like just 99, but that means the highest that it's gotten is 103, not 102 like we thought. So any parents out there, if you've ever questioned, if you add a degree when you put it under the arm, you for sure do. We just experimented on each other, and you do. All right, guys, well, it is time to end this beautiful day. Man, and it was a nice day out. It was probably, I would say close to 70 degrees. Oh, man, so nice, like not a cloud in the sky super comfortable outside got to do some some stuff outside i had to fix some uh um of our sprinklers when they redid our driveway they didn't align them right when they were putting them back in so i had to fix some of that stuff played with the pup outside yeah it was a good day time to go to work tomorrow gotta get some rest hope you guys like our video though all right make sure you uh Press the like button, but more importantly, please subscribe, all right? And uh, share it too. And with that, guys, hope you guys enjoy, the, enjoy your evening, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night, guys.